Trump gives ground on his wall as border deal comes into view the New York Times. By end. Washington U faced with limited options and a looming deadline to prevent another government shutdown, President Trump is moving toward accepting a border security deal that would fall well short of his once firm demand for $5.7 billion in funds for a wall at the southwestern frontier. On Capitol Hill, House and Senate conferees were nearing an agreement that could offer the president between $1.3 billion and around $2 billion in funding for border security, a range, still subject to change, that could include some physical barriers and result in a deal as early as Monday. Talk of a wall, we're 95-98% to 98 done, said Senator Patrick J. Leahy of Vermont, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Appropriations Committee. Mr. Trump has told allies he would grudgingly accept a figure of around $2 billion, but House Democrats remain publicly opposed to spending that much on physical barriers. It is still not clear. Throughout the talks, Democrats have insisted that a border security compromise not be overly reliant on physical barriers. We will not agree to the effort to find some final figure between the House Democrats $1.3 billion and a figure slightly higher than $2 billion marks an end game of sorts for high-stakes negotiations aimed at making sure the government does not, once again, close down next weekend. The longest shutdown, but the final agreement still has contentious wrinkles to iron out. While Democrats want as low a number as they can secure, members of the conservative House Freedom Caucus, which had earlier pushed Mr. Trump to take an uncompromising line on wall funding, met with him on Thursday and indicated that any number even slightly above $2 billion would satisfy them for now. Senator Mike Lee, Republican of Utah, told senators at a party lunch and in private conversations over the past few days that Mr. Trump had told him, I can live with $2 billion, according to a Senate aide who witnessed one of the exchanges. Beyond those numbers, negotiators remain far apart on detention beds under the control of immigration and customs enforcement to house families detained at the border with Mexico. Funds currently with disputes like that. Democratic aides on Friday downplayed the likelihood of a quick deal. Their last official, regardless of where the talks land, the funding levels under discussion mark another significant compromise for Mr. Trump as he struggles to fulfill his campaign promise that he would build a wall at the southwestern border. In December, Mr. Leahy, a member of the bipartisan House Senate committee negotiating the deal, declined to elaborate on specific numbers or what was left to negotiate, citing the need to keep the details of ongoing talks private. It's easy to have the rhetoric about the border, he said. It's the realism, Mr. Leahy said that he, along with staff and other members of the 17-member committee, planned to stay in town this weekend to negotiate the final details and prepare to sign off on it on Monday. Because of procedure over the past several days, negotiators have begun discussing the potential placement of new barriers use some of it likely to be sturdy, steel slats known as bollard fencing you in specific locations on the border that have seen significant increases in illegal crossings, according to two Republican aides. The walls we saw were really heavy fences, said Rep. Kay Granger of Texas, the ranking Republican on the House Appropriations Committee, describing a trip to the border she took earlier this week. She told report, there's no one that said we should put a solid wall across our southern border, she said. On Thursday, Richard Shelby of Alabama, chairman of the Senate Appropriations Chairman, told fellow Republicans that a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Mr. Trump in the Oval Office earlier in the week left him optimistic. I think we are going to get a deal, Mr. Shelby said, according to one of the attendees. Hot, hot, hot. I get fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.